first burst onto the scene, educators across the country were fearful. But now, AI technology is everywhere. And as we begin a new school year, keeping it out of the classrooms has become unrealistic, if not impossible. And experts say the schools most susceptible to AI being misused by students are the ones who try to keep it out. So is embracing the technology and teaching kids about it actually the safest way to go about this? Joining us now is Sarah Morin, a Queens charter school teacher and one of 20 educators across the country to be selected for the AI Vanguard Fellowship Initiative. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about the fellowship and an uh, initiative and what you'll be doing, the work you'll be doing? Absolutely. So I'm working with AI for Equity, which is a nonprofit organization, and I've been selected to work with, as you mentioned, 20 other educators. We are piloting the use of AI tools, ideally, within our own classrooms with fidelity, meaning workshopping them independently, sort of finding the most integral uses of them and recording what would be considered a best use case for a catalog so that we can distribute that to other teachers as an exemplary model. Mm. So you're educating students on this technology, but also teachers. How different is the learning curve between the two? Ideally, we want to make sure that teachers have the perfect example and that students have the perfect example at the same rate. Oh, interesting. So the, when you first tell a student about AI technology, aren't they, depending on the age, more familiar with the technology and what it does than some teachers? That's a really good question. Students are curious. Yeah. Children are curious. They're experimenting and they're going to be using this material, this technology independently for their own motives pretty much all the time. We have to know that, we have to anticipate that, and we have to be able to respond to that intelligently. But we also know that adults are using it too. And so what it's really about is building a sense of integrity behind that at all times. So we have to do that in the classroom and we have to do that within the professional facility too. So Doug yesterday brought us a great story about AI technology in schools and how you can catch students using AI in their work. How do you train teachers to do that and sort of like connect the two? I mean, it's gotta be a little difficult. You know, the word catch is really an interesting idea. It assumes the worst of our students, mm -hmm. which is something that I don't think is a great idea. I think it's about building a philosophy of integrity and it's about building a passion for the pursuit of knowledge. That's always been the responsibility of the educator. You have to put the onus on students that learning is important, that their education is their responsibility. If we put the majority of our energy into building technology to detect artificial intelligence, then we are going to put the majority of our energy into students using AI. Mm. What we have to do instead is that we have to reroute students to investing their energy back into their learning the right way. So uh, I understand your point, but at the same time, I think the worst case scenario that you're mentioning is the one that parents are fearful of, that AI makes it very easy to cheat. How could this be something that we put into classrooms? So I think the detection is a good thing to know, at least exists for parents out there, that there is actually AI programming that catches AI in essays or uh, class assignments, something like that. But that's also part of, you're talking about a philosophy that educators put together that schools can use because they know there's integrity behind it from fellow educators. But is the detection part of that philosophy that schools will use going forward? In my opinion, teachers need to know their students 100% of the time. There is no educator who's going to look at a child's essay and genuinely authentically believe that a child's essay looks like a computer generated essay. Mm. It's never gonna happen. That's a trained teacher, an untrained teacher, a developing teacher. Every single teacher has a responsibility to knowing their students. And every single teacher needs to invest in the understanding that they need to know their students. We also need to invest in our communities. We need to invest in a relationship with our families. We need to have an open dialogue with our families so that we have an understanding 
when we bring artificial intelligence into the classroom, it's not to skip steps. Right. It's not to cut corners. It's so that we can enhance the learning for your student. Hmm. Good point. Yeah, it's interesting stuff. Uh, well, Sarah, thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry we have to keep it so short, but uh, there's so much more I want to discuss with you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Such an it. interesting topic. Yeah. Thank you again for being with us. We'll be right back.